Okay, sir, so I have you written down as William Patrick Creelman, is that correct? Uh, well, that actually used to be my name, but it's not my name anymore. Pardon me? So that's the name I was given at birth, but my parents only ever called me Billy. Um, I thought your name was William. Well, it used to be, but now my name is Mohammed William Saleh. Huh? So what do you go by now then? I go by Will now. I thought your name was Mohammed. Well, technically, legally it is, but every time you go to a Muslim country and someone says, Hey, Mohammed, everybody turns around and looks at you. That's why most people named Mohammed go by their second name, which in my case is William, which happens to be short form, Will. Is your favorite, babe? I hope you like it. It's not too spicy, is it? It's truly not so bad. Are you serious? Unfortunately. Okay, let's try it again. Hey, two for two. Well, it's actually the same wedding this weekend. Are you serious? Yeah. This is the last time. Last time. I'm not doing it again. So you thinking what I'm thinking? Gift card. I'm Brad. <laughs> If you are a brown girl, here are my top 5 tips on how you can get your parents to fall in love with a white boy. Teach him how to make the chai that your parents drink. Tip number 2. Teach him how to dress. What is the skirt necessary? Yeah, it kind of is. Tip number 3. Teach him how to speak the language. Hanji. TK. Tip number four, make sure that you can insert the word engineer or doctor in his job title. Hi mom. And the most important step of all, teach him how to head bobble. And now you take all five steps and put them all together. A tiger? Oh my gosh, you guys, we just found out that the CDC is recommending that anyone with facial hair should shave it off to protect themselves from coronavirus. And I think that my husband is going to shave off his 10 year beard. This is for you, Corona. No! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that! <laughs> Getting past an ID, please. There you go. Thank you, Miss Sale. Mm -hmm. All right, carry on. Thank you. Hello there, sir. Hello. May I please have your boarding pass and ID? There you are. Thank you. Sir, is your name Mohammed? Yeah, it is. Everybody with that name has been randomly selected today, so if you could just go in that line over there and we'll just get you that extra screening. My name has been randomly selected, along with everybody else with that name. How was that even random? Sir, I can't actually answer that question, but I just asked you to stand in that line over there. Can you do that for me, please? And if I don't? Security! Wait! Wait! I've got rights! If you're a Muslim... Here are some halal pickup lines. Girl, are you fajr? Cause I miss you every day. Girl, Allah has given you everything. Except my number. Hey girl, feel my thobe. You know what it's made out of? Husband material. <laughs> Girl stealing is haram. What? I didn't steal anything. Habibi, you stole my heart. Well, it is only big enough for one. Muslim terrorists. Now that I got your attention, listen up. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, do not be extreme in your religion. And did you know that most of the victims of terrorism are actually Muslim? Did you know that in a Muslim country, all places of worship, no matter which religion, are supposed to be defended by Muslims? The Quran says, you shall not kill any person because God has made life sacred. So don't judge Muslims based on what you see on TV. Because we're actually pretty cool people. Yeah. Let's
The world wants us to focus on the things that tear us apart. Don't you think it's time that we focus on the things that we have in common? And please, don't assume either group for us. Hey, where are you from? Hey, I'm Pakistani. Really? You don't look Pakistani. What am I supposed to look like? A plate of biryani and a bowl of pakoras? Hey, where are you from? Hey, I'm from Canada. Uh, you don't look Canadian. What am I supposed to look like? A beaver with a plaid shirt on, playing hockey, drinking maple syrup? Are you ready for the next stage in potty training? See the turd pipe where you just take that, give that one good swipe up there, front to back, back to front, don't matter. You ain't even got to wash your hands after you touch pipe and not turd. It's all fake news. Bye -bye. some facts about the Quran that might shock you. In a book containing over 6,000 verses, heaven and hell are each repeated 77 times. The words angels and devils are also repeated equally at 88 times. The word day is repeated 365 times. And the word month is repeated 12 times. The word punishment is mentioned 117 times. Whereas the word forgiveness is twice that at 234 times, showing you the mercy of God. And that entire book was revealed over the course of 23 years by a man who could not read nor write. Three ways that you can even out your skin tone. Twice a week, exfoliate your face with a volcanic ash scrub. This helps to even out skin tone. Then go in with a vitamin C treatment to get rid of melasma or pigmentation and hydrate your skin with sodium hyaluronate. This stuff is amazing. Do black lives matter in Islam? Black lives have always mattered in Islam. Did you know that Zayd, the adopted son of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was black, even though the Prophet Muhammad himself was Arab? Um Ayman, who was a black former slave woman, was referred to by the Prophet, peace be upon him, as my mother after my mother, and also as a woman of paradise. There's a man by the name of Bilal who was a freed black slave. He was named the head of the Muslim treasury and was the first Muslim ever to do the call to prayer. Osama bin Zaid, a black Muslim, was the first commander of the Muslim army after the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed away, and no one objected or complained. So black lives have always mattered in Islam. So Muslims should join forces and stand up against inequality. I'm running to your side. My love.